Hi everybody and welcome. My name's Tony and I'm with the Everyday Counts program here on the North Shore. We have an hour together for yoga. So gather whatever it is that you need. Today we're going to be looking at movement and flow within the movements that we're taking. So settling in. And if it's more comfortable for you to be on a chair to start with, then go ahead. Coming to a comfortable place for you where we can stay for a moment to get into the breath. Taking a breath in when you're ready and settling down into that. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes, whatever feels right for you. Allowing everything to start to settle. Your mind, your body. Notice how you're feeling today. Notice sensations in your body. Not only the loud ones, but the quieter, more subtle sensations as well. The ones that we might not pay attention to. And then notice the breath. Allow the breath to get a little more mindful as you follow it in and out. Smoothing it out as best as you can. And consider how the inhale rolls naturally into the exhale. And how the exhale glides into the inhale. You could even consider the breath like a circle or a cycle. That inhale and exhale naturally being a part of one another. And they don't have to be the same length, but consider if there's anything you can do to allow that breath to get a little smoother as they soften and blend into one another. And there are pauses at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale where we're neither breathing in nor out. But that itself is part of the circle. Inhaling and exhaling, continuous breath. As steadily and smoothly as we can allow it to unfold and happen. With that continuous, steady breath, as best as you can make it, and we're not looking for perfect. We'll find that stability underneath us and rise from there. Continuous breath. Seamless or as seamless as we can make it ourselves. And taking that breath as our key will start to move. And so on the inhale, the nose rises, and on the exhale, it draws round and down, drawing circles through the air in front of you, working with your breath to allow that to naturally unfold. Allow the movement to be guided by that breath. And if there's anything at any point that you can change or adjust to make things easier, go ahead. And then when you're ready, we'll go around in the opposite direction.
smoothing out the movement as you smooth the breath, that continuous seamless breath and movement working together. And at the end of the exhale, we'll pause. And we'll start to create circles in the shoulders, both circles, both shoulders together. As much or as little movement as feels good for you. Taking that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. and coming back to center and from here from a place of stability with that continuous breath on the inhale we'll lift the arms up and on the exhale we'll take them down as if we're moving through water Allowing the movement again to be an expression of the breath. Noticing if lifting the hands up a little softer feels better in your body. Reaching through the joints or keeping those joints easy. And you can stay here or adding a twist into this. On the inhale, we're lifting up. On the exhale, the hands naturally come forward and back as we twist to the right, inhaling to center, and then exhaling, twisting to the left. Continuous breath. Allow the movement Want to be as fluid as possible, resting whenever you need to. And you can continue twisting from side to side. Or the next time you glance over towards the right, we'll stay there for three seamless breaths. Every inhale we rise, every exhale soften or deepening into that twist. Staying for the last exhale and then going to the other side in flow or staying three breaths. More or less, one more last breath here. Inhaling up and coming back to center. Any movements you need to ease into your body, go ahead. And then we're coming over onto hands and knees for cat and cow. Any padding or support you need, please go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Making the foundation right for your body. Maybe pushing into the hands, lifting through the back of the heart. The gaze comes forward and the belly draws in. On an exhale, push into your foundation, flow with the ribs upwards. Inhaling, extension of the spine. Exhaling, flexion. Continuous breath. So there's not really many places that we are still in this movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Next time we come to an exhale, option to stay option to walk forward and back through this movement and notice how that changes things chin in towards the chest tail tucked any amount that feels okay for you 
and come to center and then keeping the flexion in the spine, rocking from side to side, maybe leading with the ribs. And come back to center and take the extension of the spine, the belly draws down. And then we'll do the same thing from here, rocking forward and back. As much or as little as feels good in your body. Option to stay here. Option to come to center and with that extension through the spine, rocking from side to side. Steady breath. Coming back to center. And from here, we'll take that right foot out beside us, toes facing forward, left hand underneath the shoulder at any angle that feels comfortable for you, patting the left knee. On the inhale, we're lifting up with the right arm. On the exhale, start by tapping downwards. Inhaling up, exhaling down. The flow of the movement guided by the continuous breath. Option to add on. This is the inhale. On the exhale, curling the right hand underneath the left, looking left. Inhaling up, exhaling down. The flow within the movement. And this flow can be as much or as little as feels good for you. You can always adjust anything, adapt anything to feel more comfortable for you. And the next time we come down, option to scoot all the way through, coming to that right shoulder, the head comes down, left hand supports you, maybe off the mat as you twist towards the left. You've got a few breaths here. Rooting down through that right shoulder. And then on the next breath, that left hand supports underneath the shoulder and we come all the way up. Using the right foot out towards the side to bring it forward any amount. And then we're rocking forward and back using your intuitive guidance to bring that right foot out towards the side. And from here, you can take blocks underneath those hands if that gives you a bit more support, depending on the length of your bones. Option is to draw the right foot back on the heel. Again, flowing with the breath, with the movement. Only as much or as little as feels good for you. You can stay here, or the next time that right heel comes down, we're staying there. Hands comes up onto support of that right foot. And then you get to play with drawing the foot closer towards each other or for, further apart, patting that left knee as much as you need to. And then we're rocking forward and back here with the movement. Fixing the gaze, low lunge. Flowing or staying in stillness, what feels better for you? One is not right or wrong. Drawing that left hip back, right hip rolling forward, checking that out. And then an option is to bring the left hand behind the head. Right thumb fits into the hip crease, hands wrapping around the right hip and wrapping that round of the back. The inhale opening out with the left elbow. Taking the gaze, taking a gentle twist there with the upper body, exhaling forward or to the right. 
Inhaling and exhaling. Steady breath, steady movement. Fixing the gaze or taking the gaze with that elbow, which will be challenging for the balance. One more. Coming back to center. Hands come down to the inside of that right leg and the right leg comes round the back. Cat and cow. And then we're taking the left foot out to the left side. Toes facing forward. From here, right hand supports you on its own angle that feels right for you. Option to stay here. Option to lift up through the left hand towards the sky, exhaling, tapping down, flowing with that continuous breath. Very little stillness here. You can take that left hand back behind you and open up if that feels okay in your body. You can always come down to that right forearm if the wrist is sensitive. Option to stay here. Option to guide that left arm through to the right any amount. Allow the inhale to glide into the exhale, the exhale to slide effortlessly into the inhale. Great place to be here, flowing. If you want to add on, that left shoulder comes all the way down to the floor, and then the right hand supports you maybe off the mat as we twist to the right. Continuous breath. And then when you're ready, that right hand comes underneath you for support. And then we're taking the left foot forward. Give it a little help as much as you need to. And with that left foot forward, Maybe you need blocks underneath those hands and then we're rocking forward and back through the hips. Noticing how that feels in your body. Always adjusting the foundation to suit you. Fluidity and flow within this. Option to draw the left arm, leg back, hip back to extend through that left leg. Leg doesn't have to come straight. Is there anything you can change here for simply it to feel better for you? Great place to stay in flow. Or coming to stillness, making any adjustments. Hands to that left thigh and up we come. Fixing the gaze, adjusting your foundation. And we're rocking forward and back, opening up through the right hip this time. Left hip draws back. Changing up anything you need to. And then when you're ready, option to come to stillness. Left thumb fits in the hip crease, wrapping the hand round the hip, dropping that hip round and back so the hips become even. Option to take the right hand behind the head. On the inhale, opening out, maybe twisting towards the right, but without drawing the left hip forward. Everything's stable from the hips down. That's the inhale. On the exhale, twisting. Inhaling and exhaling, twisting to the right on the inhale, over to the left on the exhale. Flowing with the breath and with the movement, very little stillness here. Another couple. Next time we come forward, we stay. 
hands come down, foot comes back behind us, cat and cow. And then from here, child's pose, knees go as wide or as close together as you like, hips come back, any support that you need, and then we're coming down. Supported on the hands, forearms, fists, palms, or the head on a block. You can take the hands in front of you if you like, pop up onto the spider fingers, and then walk the fingers towards one side, Opposite hip draws back here. Flow of breath. Continuous flow. And then over to the other side when you're ready. Opposite hip draws back. Continuous flow of breath as best as you can make it. Coming all the way back to center. You can stay here and rest a little bit longer if you like. Or from here, coming onto hands and knees, coming into prepping for downward dog or downward dog itself, your choice. Spreading the foundation wide, tucking the back toes. On the inhale, drawing the belly in towards the spine, the back of the heart up and the gaze is coming forward. Continuous breath here. On the inhale, you're just pushing down into your foundation, hovering both knees. That's the inhale. On the exhale, we're tapping down. Noticing as you're doing this which muscles are engaging, allowing the movement to be as fluid as you can make it. If you're coming into downward facing dog, you could walk your hands a little forward in front of your shoulders, give yourself a little bit of space. You could consider taking your knees and feet a little wider apart to make it easier. On the inhale, with the same engagement of the spine, pushing into the toes, bent knees, pushing the hips up, exhaling, coming down. And you can flow here, steady, continuous breath. Very little stillness. Or, if you want to, we're coming all the way up and staying. Pushing one heel down, bending the other leg, walking the dog. Adjust anything, the width of your hands, the width of your legs, the length of your stance. Don't worry about getting the legs straight or the heels to the floor. Stay in movement or three breaths, stability. Keep the breath continuous. Make any adjustments you need to in your body to make this sustainable, even if that means resting. Then on the exhale, we're taking the knees all the way down if they're not already there. Any movements you need here, go ahead. And then from there, we're going to walk the hands back towards the knees. Keep those toes tucked, but we're coming into a supported forward fold. So keep the knees nice and wide, ribs resting on the thighs. Fingertips to the floor for support. On the inhale, we're going to drop the hips, look forward. On the exhale, pushing through the heels, keeping the ribs on the thighs, inhaling and exhaling, keeping that support. Legs do not have to come anywhere near straight. Flow with the breath, continuous breath, continuous movement. Option to stay flowing, option to stay in stillness. You've got three breaths wherever you are, supported by the floor, shins, thighs, hips, or you can dangle your choice. 
continuous breath. The breath will show you what you need. And when you're ready, hands come to the thighs and we're coming all the way up. Finding ourselves in mountain pose, a comfortable distance on the feet, lifting from there, palms towards the front, rolling the shoulders softly down, widening through the collarbones, and we're finding breath here. Coming back to that continuous, steady breath. Mm -hmm. Palms turn up on the inhale, up they come, exhaling down, staying from the elbows or moving from the shoulders. Very little stillness. The entire inhale is that upward movement. The entire exhale is the downward movement. Your breath rhythm, not anybody else's. A flow. And from here, we're just going to turn those palms up. Keep a soft bend in the elbow. And this is the inhale. I'm going to come forward just because I have a wall right behind me. This is the inhale on the exhale. Draw the shoulder blades back and down the back body. So we've got broad collarbones here, but we're not jamming anything back behind us. Rooting to rise, steady breath. This is the inhale, keeping the softness in the shoulders and arms. We're gonna exhale towards the right. Inhaling to center, exhaling left. And taking the gaze with you over those shoulders, if that feels okay in your neck. Mm -hmm. Stay here, or on an inhale, reaching the arms up, on an exhale, opening the arms out of the cactus, palms towards each other. Softening through the shoulders, inhaling up to the right. So notice how that changes things. You can gaze over those shoulders. Wide collarbones once more. Front ribs tucked in. One more either side. <laughs> and then allowing those hands to come all the way back to center. Hands on the hips here. So we're going to go from side to side, lifting up through the heels. Steady breath. Inhaling through the right heel, weights coming to the left. And then we're going to switch. Inhaling and exhaling. Any wobbliness going on, steady your gaze. If you need to take support to do this, please go ahead and do that. Great place to be, right here. Adding on. Next, inhale, lifting up through the right knee. Exhaling left. So we're marching, <clears throat> excuse me, marching in place. Those toes can stay on the floor. Or we can start to lift up through the whole foot. Knees just coming enough to lift the foot or knees come up hip height. Your choice. Flowing, steady with the breath. If you need to adjust things, please go ahead. Any support you need, Great, take it if it's there, if that feels better in your body. Option to stay here. Option to notice what's happening in your hips here. One hip is hiking up, 
and see if you can keep them level, even if it means lessening the knee so it doesn't come quite so high. Option to stay here, and again, taking support. Option next time the right knee comes up, we stay. Three breaths. Steady, fluid breaths. Root down through the left foot, lift from there. One more breath. And then we're going back to marching or lifting through the heel. Next time the left knee lifts, option to stay. Steady, continuous breath. Last breath here. And then we're going back to marching. Your own depth. And I'm going to keep the toes on the floor, just lifting through the heels. And coming back to center. Keeping the breath, that continuous breath. And from here, all we're going to do is step the right foot forward a little. Bend through the knees. Keeping the gaze central, we're going to take the weight into the right foot, lift the left heel. Exhale, coming back, lift the right ball of the foot. Inhaling, exhaling. Change your foundation if you need to. If it's too wide or long for you, or you want an extra challenge, change it up in your own way. Option to stay here. Option to lift the back foot entirely and lift the front foot. Inhaling and exhaling. Steady and smooth. The breath is always primary. Option, next time you come forward, to stay. Three breaths. Staying for the last breath, and on that exhale, we're coming back, inhaling forward. Option to stay here. Option, next time you come back, to stay. Any wobbliness, take the support that you need. And then we're going backwards and forwards. Keep part of the big toe down. Coming back to stability. And then we're switching up the legs. This foundation may feel a bit different for you, so switch it up for you. Inhaling, exhaling. Weight in the front and then the back. Then, option to lift the heel, the ball of the foot, or simply the toes. Steady, continuous breath. Option to start to lift through the foot. Weight's coming forward and back. Next time we come forward, option to stay. Three breaths. Root down through the standing foot. Continuous breath. Fixing the gaze. One last breath. Backwards and forwards. Option to stay here. Option next time we come into the back foot, we stay. Three breaths. Continuous breaths. From here, backwards and forwards. Start to slow it down, keep the feet down. If they weren't already, come back to stillness and draw yourself back to mountain pose. Breath, coming back to the breath. 
the continuous flow of the breath, hand to heart, hand to belly. And then when you're ready, you're gonna come down to the earth, all the way down, and I'll meet you there. From here, coming all the way down, onto your back, knees to the sky, feet to the floor, taking any support underneath you that you need. Adjust yourself on your back body to feel comfortable and a comfortable distance from your heels to your seat. Hands come down next to your hips. Steady, continuous breath here. Feel the support underneath you from the palms of your hands to your shoulders, the back of your head, all the places your back is touching the earth, your pelvis, heels to toes. If you need to make any adjustments for it to feel more comfortable for you, go ahead. But the breath is steady. Rooting into the back of your skull, the shoulders and your arms all the way down to the palms of your hands and your feet. On an inhale, you're gonna push into everything that is touching the earth that I just mentioned. And we're gonna lift the hips. Just hover the hips a little, exhaling down. And this may be enough right here. We want the steadiness of the breath and the continuous feeling of the movement. So rather than there being pauses at the top and the bottom where we're kind of not engaging anything, we want the steadiness of the movement. So very little stillness here. Inhaling up, exhaling down. You can start to push a little deeper into everything that's a, a supported and lift the hips a little more. But again, we're not concerned about height here. We just want the fluidity of the movement. We're gonna add onto this if you want. So inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, taking the arms back behind you, over your head, hips come up, exhaling, hands come down to before. Inhaling up through the hips, exhaling down, now with the arms. Inhaling, flow overhead, exhaling down by your hips, keeping the hands down by your hips, inhale up, exhale down, now with arms. Keep going with the flow. You've got another two full movements. And again, we're not concerned about height. We want the fluidity of the movement and rest. Any movements you need here, you can windshield wiper your knees from side to side, anything that feels good. And we're gonna add onto that. So you can either stay, palms down, lifting up through the hips and down, then arms over, head and down, your choice. Otherwise, we're gonna add onto that. So that add-on is then hands come to the thighs and we're lifting up and down. So number one, palms by the hips. Second, arms overhead. Third, arms to the thighs. That's the flow. Steady breath in your own time. Inhaling hips up, exhaling down. Inhaling arms overhead, hips up. Exhaling hands down to thighs. Inhaling hips up. Exhaling down, and we go back to center. Hands to hips. Hips up, hips down. Arms overhead, arms down to thighs. Hips up, palms down next to your hips. 
and we flow like that. And if this is enough, then we stay here. Rest. Option to add on to there, bringing more flow. So we've got hands by our hips. Next bridge, arms overhead. Next bridge, hands on the thighs. Next bridge, arms up towards the sky hands interlaced or palms towards each other. So, in your own time. Settling into your bridge. And then when you're ready, continuous breath. On one of your next inhales, we start. Inhaling, hips up. Exhaling down. Arms overhead arms to thighs, hips up, hips down, hands interlaced, hips up, hands back down, hips up, hips down, arms overhead, arms to thighs, hips up, hands interlaced, hips up, hands come down and that's the flow you've got four full flows to go when you're ready continuous breath breath always comes first and then when you're ready we start Steady, continuous breath. If you forget or you mix it up, no big deal. One last one, full motion, steady breath, continuous breath. And rest. Feet come in towards each other, knees come out. You can Support underneath your thighs or simply take your fists to the hip joints to support yourself here. Steady, continuous breath. After all that flow. You're ready, knees come back to center. Pick your hips up, shift them over towards the right. When you're ready, bring your feet back to center. Steady breath here. Bringing the right knee in towards your belly. Give yourself a little hug. 
And if the left knee feels really good in there too, after all those bridge poses, rock and roll from side to side, do whatever it is that you need. From here, left foot comes down to the floor, knee to the sky, that right knee is drawn in. And stay here, or shift the hips to the right, extend the left leg long. Right knee comes over towards the left, guided by the left hand, only as much as the right shoulder is rooted to the floor, and we rest. Gazing over that right shoulder. Use any support you need to under that right knee, shin, ankle, or all three. Steady breath here. And up we come to center when you're ready. Shifting your hips back to center when coming to the other side. Maybe the hips come over to the other side. Left knee draws in. Option to send the right leg long depending on how it feels in your groin. Left knee comes over to the right guided by the right hand, supported any amount. Left shoulder is rooted. So we're only twisting as much as that left shoulder stays down. And it may be very different one side to the other in your body, depending on what's going on. You can take the gaze over that left side. Steady, continuous breath. When you are ready, coming back to center, gaze and then the knee, shift your hips back to where is central for you. Continuous breath, knees come in towards your chest, option to stay here, option to send those legs up towards the sky, easy joints here. Option to send the hands up to allow the bones to drop back into the hip sockets and the shoulders drop into the floor. Continuous breath. Option to circle through the wrists and ankles. And then taking that round in the opposite direction. and coming to rest. Anything doesn't feel all right here with your hands and feet up towards the sky, then come back to the earth. Otherwise, we're here for a few breaths. Steady, continuous breath. soften, elbows soften, hands to knees, circling in one direction, big circles with those knees, and then we're back in the other direction. From here, feet down to the floor, and we're coming to rest. So maybe stretching out long if that feels good to you in your relaxation position. Support your body as you need to. Take any extra layers that feel best for you. 
And if you prefer to rest on your side, sitting up in your bed, you go ahead and take whatever it is that you need. And settling in after all that movement. As you settle in, allow yourself to notice whether there's things, little movements or adjustments you can make so you feel more comfortable here. The more comfortable the body is, the less distraction we have. Taking a deep breath in, exhaling, softening that out. A few more breaths just like that. the breath go entirely so it comes back to its own natural easy rhythm letting all the effort of the last hour dissolve like sugar and water. And find yourself supported wherever you're resting. to soften and loosen, allowing your thoughts to feel like something you can just simply witness, watching them come and go as they ebb and flow. As you rest,
and staying here for as long as you need. I'm tuning my voice out if it's simply a distraction and you would like to stay longer. Or filling your awareness with your breath just as it is. Inviting in, slightly deeper inhale, slightly longer exhales in your own way. And notice the natural flow of the breath. flow of the breath. And starting to take soft movements with that flow of the breath, allow the, the movements also to be free flowing, awakening in your own way. Allow these movements to be for you. If you're on your back, maybe rolling to one side or the other and taking a few moments of rest there you're in any other shape, just finding ways as you make your way to a place where you would like to finish your practice, find little stops along the way to simply notice the breath. Notice how you feel. And we'll find ourselves eventually in a place to complete the practice today. hands in a gesture that makes sense to you. And taking your breath in, exhaling, chin down towards your chest. Having a little reverence for yourself here for moving within the flow of the breath. Maybe noticing the breath in your day ahead, your week ahead. Noticing that flow of the inhale and the exhale as they slide and blend together. And from my heart to yours, namaste.